Hello, welcome back to our Touch Designer tutorial. So for today's version, we're going to have a look how we can connect Arduino to the Fermata library in Touch Designer such that we can communicate between the Arduino board and the Touch Designer movie. Okay, so in the very beginning, I need to connect my Arduino board to the USB cable connecting to my MacBook Pro at this moment and for demonstration I have just insert one LED light into the pin 11 and also the ground directly into the Arduino board and the board I'm going to use that indicates around here is the Arduino Uno through the USB modem and in order to work with the connection between the Fermata in Arduino and also the Fermata library in Touch Designer, I need to download from the example over here, choosing the Fermata and the standard Fermata program. And it may take a while because it's a little bit big in terms of the size okay so I can just remove this empty uh, sketch and as usual I just pick up the Arduino Uno I'm holding at this moment and then try to upload it to the Arduino board. The compilation process shouldn't have any issue because it's the standard example and then it's uploading now to this particular board so the done uploading is fine so I close the Arduino IDE at this moment and then go back to my empty touch designer project so I will just remove everything and then create a new project the main core touch test Arduino and then there wouldn't be any subfolder for the external resource at this moment and I just erase everything and create an empty project okay and the library or I should say probably like the plugin that we can use is from the pilot browser under the tools that the main call formatter that we can just drag it over here and then now we can close our palette browser and with the formatter selected and then we can turn on the parameter window the first thing we need to do is to choose the proper port that we have been using in uploading the formatter program into the Arduino port so that one is the USB modem so I only have one connector so this is the only one I have and then I just click to activate it it takes a while and then you also notice the flashing light in the pin number 13 to establish the communication and then if you would like to you can click on those query button in order to see the response from the from the Fermata connection so the next thing we're going to do is to specify like the pin number that we are going to use the one I have insert LED is pin number 11 and by default is already the output single bit that's one bit on and off switch for the connection and then we're going to change the pin value for pin number 11 to have a look with what happening with this simple circuit so we can just turn on turn off turn on turn off so this is how easy that we can get 
the connection between the Arduino board and the touch designer. Okay, the next step is we can create a very simple blinking light with this LED light bulb. So the one I'm going to use with a chop that using wave. So there are multiple wave that you can use, like the pulse or the LFO or whatever that you can use. So I'm going to use the wave and then choose the square wave. And with the number range you can observe from the wave chop is from minus one to one. And for the one we're going to use send to the I don't know but we would like to have just zero to one. So we convert it by adding a mass chop. But the from range is minus one to one and the two range is zero to one. And then I can connect it to a null chop. Now we are ready to send the command or send a signal from the now one chop to the pin number one over here. So we turn on the viewer active, drag this number to pin number 11 and then export chop. Yes, so that is the on and off that you can see the pulse is sending through to this particular switch to turn on and off the, the LED light around here. So that is the extremely easy example that we can make use of the Fermata connection and the, the Arduino communication with the touch designer. Okay, and see you next time for another example with the connection of Fermata and Arduino. Bye-bye.